Hey guys, what's up? No Rick 77 here. Uh, out in my garage again, like always, every day, all day. Uh, I just got done painting these couple of vet parts. Got the uh, the license plate cover all sanded down, blocked out, and I painted her as well uh, as well as with the uh, the headlight covers. Man, they came out nice. I wish I could make the whole car come out like that, but uh, they're all painted, ready to go, rock and roll, blah 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 blah. I uh, just out in the garage chilling. Yeah, so, I don't know, we'll see what happens today, later. Oh, I almost forgot, I got a couple thank yous to make. Thank you, Rick, for your lovely sticker, that's awesome. And thank you, Matthew, for yours. It's always good to get the stickerage, I love it, I love it. I, uh, I don't know, I might have some stickers coming, I don't know. So uh, we'll see if uh, I get them stickers and we can get them sent out. I don't know. But uh, here's a piece of shit you guys can gander at. It's almost as bad as fucking Sean's car. My goodness. I don't know what this is. Some people just have no idea what's wrong with their shit. No idea. It's another Honda. Sean's is not accurate, but might as well. They're all shit boxes. Especially these years when people beat the fuck out of them. Look at that hack and pack. Mm. Look at the whole front end of this car, guys. The whole front end of this car is swayed over that way a good three inches. Seriously. Look, the tire is almost sticking out. It is sticking out of the bumper cover here. See it level with the fender right here? <laughs> Holy shit, where is it? Oh, there it is. Look at how far over it's sticking. Oh my. This lady called me. Her hood wouldn't open. So she wanted me to get her hood to open and close. And uh, the bumper was hanging down. She wanted screws in it. There was no mirror on this side. And there was no mirror inside. And the emblems. Oh my god, was she fucking bugging me. And bugging me. Make sure you get those emblems. I need the emblems. Can I have emblems for the trunk and the hood? Can I have emblems? Can I have emblems? Lady. Who gives a fuck about the goddamn fucking emblems? Your whole front end is swayed over three fucking inches. I don't want to get in a fucking accident with this car ever again. It goes down the road like fucking... It's fucking ridiculous. But, uh, I don't even know. So, I had to do some cobblings on this motherfucker. The hood latch was all bent to fuck. The hood cable was broke. So I had to uh, go to the junkyard. Look, now it opens. I had to go to the junkyard and get a hood latch and uh, I did some cobblings there on the uh, yeah where the fuck is it I did some cobblings on the um, hood cable oh fuck you I don't think you guys can see it maybe you can let me turn the light on uh, right there right there I took a hose clamp and put it around the hood cable and then tack welded it to the hood latch well that's a little blurry because the little plastic tit that goes right there to hold the hood cable to the hood latch broke off so that was my cobblings on that and uh, I had to pound this out and pound this out and this whole hood latch is bent I mean and look back here, this hood hinge here and there are the bolt holes and they're supposed to bolt there and there. Well this thing swayed over so much I had to take the hole that normally bolts back here 
and bolt it to the front fucking hole. <laughs> yes, I did. And uh, that gave the hood just enough sway because when you had the hood on straight, this hood latch here would come down and it would hit right here. No shit. It would hit here. And it's <laughs> so that's how far away how swayed over this front end is. This hood latch is supposed to be all the way the fuck over here. This whole front end's pushed over that far. This lady's fucking insane. And she has money too, man. You guys have no idea. She's got two Lexuses, uh, 2006 Dodge Ram. Uh, I believe her husband drives a Beamer. Uh, one of those XB or whatever the fuck they are, the SUVs. And then they got this. And it's like, why even fix this? Just get the fuck rid of it. Look at the oil. Are you fucking joking? Some people are fucking insane. But uh, that was my cobblings there on that fucking thing. And uh, yeah. So the hood shuts and opens, but you gotta fucking really slam it. And she shuts. She even catches on the safety lever. And she's got her pretty little emblems. Woohoo! But uh, yeah. She didn't pay very much for that. I didn't spend very much time on it. Here's the uh, sh sh here's the fucking front bumper fix. Mm-hmm. There's the uh, turn signal fix. Mm-hmm. 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 And uh, yeah, that's what she's getting. So tough shit. I can't fix that. But uh, that's what I've been up to. Corvette's parts painted. Rick and Matthew, thank you for the stickers. Love them, love them, love them. Uh, we sanded down the Corvette with 1500 yesterday. Got it out here sitting in the sun again to let it get even harder. The whole hood's ripped open with some 1500. And uh, we're just letting it bake out here in the sun. I can't even look at this thing. I'm gonna go fucking blind. And uh, probably gonna buff it tonight. Put it back together tomorrow, get the hell out of here. Baby's outside with me, chilling, chilling, chilling. Hi. But, uh, yeah. So, I don't know. I'll catch you guys later. I gotta go into town and get some bread and shit from the bakery. Fucking bakery's open, only open Thursday, Friday, Saturday. What kind of bakery's only open those hours? I don't know. But uh, I want to thank everybody for my stickers. Yes, sir. My two new additions. Got a couple over here. Just want to thank everybody for my stickers. Mm-hmm. 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 Thanks, guys. I really appreciate it. And I really appreciate all the good comments you guys left after I painted that Corvette. You know, I guess I am really hard on myself when it comes to doing shit like that. But you know what, I have to be. Because um, my business right here, these little jobs I'm getting, they just spread word of mouth. And uh, I don't want to be labeled, oh, that guy works at his house and does shit work. I want to be labeled, hey, that guy works out of his house and his shit looks better than the fucking body shop down the fucking road. You know what I mean? I want to get a better name than the body shops have. Charging less, working out of my own fucking house, painting here, instead of painting in a fucking paint booth. You know what I mean? I want the quality of my stuff to look and be a hundred times better than fucking big ass car dealership fucking collision places. And that's what I want. So that's why I am part of myself. That's why I want everything to come out perfect and it really stresses me out when shit doesn't go right. And I just, I want shit to come out fucking gorgeous. So. I really appreciate all the positive comments, so it keeps me going and it gives me good uh, good vibes to get my shit the right way. So, thank you. And uh, I'll talk to you guys later.